$113,000. I paid off $113,000 in student loan debt in one year. How? By using and following a spending plan. By using and following a budget. That's how. Like, is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Definitely. Like, guys, we have to stop giving money all the control. Like, when you make a spending plan, you, you have the power. You have the power to spend freely. So you've got to use it. But then understand that it's not going to be perfect and work seamlessly the entire journey. Life. The path's not straight. It never is. There's no quick fixes. And we all know that. So for me even, in I think I started March, March 2017, I was almost $200 over my budget. $200 and I thought, okay, April, May, I was like, I need to scale back my eating out. I need to scale back my entertainment. So it got a little better. I, was, I had a few dollars left to apply more to my student loans. But then by August, I was $300 over on my budget. And I was like, oh, okay, something's not working. So you always have to reanalyze and look, at, look back again. And was it discouraging? Of course it was. Of course it was. But you have to realize that you keep going. And you have to ex input your expenses daily, sometimes several times a day. And then when you get backed up, you just catch up. You catch up instead of just laying down, taking it, and giving up instead. So for all you guys who think that you need to be perfect to do this, and that's the only way that it, things are going to work out, no. Those are lies. Those are the lies that we tell ourselves. Because I'm not perfect, and I still paid off $113,000. So the proof is in the pudding. It can be done, but you're going to have to get to work. That's for sure. So how many of you guys are out there that, how many months? How many months did it take you to feel like, okay, my, my spending plan and my budgeting is going smoothly? So if you could, comment below and tell us how many months did it take you? Show people that it's not perfection that makes you win. It never is. You get to work.